Yeah. <laughs> what up, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here, and my boy Bortle. Here we go, Tulsa Regionals here. We're with who, and what did you do today, bro? Uh, Aaron McInnes, I got third place with uh, this new deck right here. This deck and yeah. the spicy brand new mat. Is that Colossus or Titan? Uh, Colossus. Colossus, it looks nice. All right, man, let's get in there. Okay, so three of this one. Uh, you can discard it to special from Grave or Banished. When you send from field to Grave or Banished, it's a mulligan for any amount of cards in your hand. Uh, you never use that effect. But you, yeah, you, it just it's how you get like a lot of the combos started turn one if you just open it. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, discard to search itself. Uh, it's a quick effect. And the second effect, when it's sent from field or banished, it searches any Thunder Dragon card. So it's how the main way you get to fusion. And if you have it in hand, it's usually how you trigger Titan on your opponent's turn. That or Matrix. Nice. Uh, this one, this is the one that you usually send off Gold Sark. It's a graph for any Thunder Dragon monster. And you can discard it to add any card from Graveyard or Banish. That's a Thunder Dragon. So you can add Fusion, it's how you usually keep recycling it. Uh, Matrix, this one, discard from hand, give a Thunder 500. It's again, the main way to trigger uh, Titan. And then send from Fields or Banish as itself. Uh, we played three of this card. It's, I honestly don't like it that much. I might cut it. But like, my last round, like if you know how to like balance, like you usually like go one for one, it's how you trigger Titan like a lot of times. Mm -hmm. It helps in the grind game. Uh, one of this guy, it's a, BLS, a searchable BLS. So like late game when like you're kind of running out of things, you like summon this, and it's like how you trigger like you'll banish like this summon or like this to search fusion, and then like yeah, just, it's really really nice. Search it off uh, both the fusion and the other guy. Uh, three solar. This card's kind of crazy. It's how, you, it's how you do all the two card combos. Oh, uh, I don't know how to do them, but that's how you do it. <laughs> well, I played this card. Uh, I played Allure, and I was like, I need more cards. I didn't have Armor Knight, so I put this in, and it was actually kind of decent. Like, it helped me beat like a a stun deck. It, my last round, I made Saryuja and like ended on everything because of it. So it's got a got some uses. I don't know if I'll keep playing it, but I like it. <laughs> Three Ogre and two Bell or the Hand Traps. I didn't play Ash for some reason. <laughs> Everyone kept telling me it was bad, I'm like, I don't know, dude, like, Ogre didn't really do anything, Bell didn't really do anything, so... Yeah. Ash actually, like, does things consistently. Uh, three of the best cards in the deck. God, you're not wrong. It, <laughs> you, you, ban you usually, like I said, you usually banish the Roar, it's pretty much a graph, until you get everything started. Uh, two Desires. This was, this is probably really good. I kind of regret doing it, though, because I had to figure out how to play the deck with less resources, because I started playing the deck yesterday. <laughs> oh, God. But overall, I think it's a, it's okay to play it. Yeah. Uh, two Allure. You only play nine darks, Sky Blast, yeah, nine darks, so you don't want to play too many. I definitely drew a lot of multiples in the early rounds. Only two instant, I don't play Thousand Hazard Strike or anything like that, so it's pretty much only there for like an early way to get to uh, Summoner. So it's yeah. the easiest way to get to multiple fusions without Solar. Uh, two fusion, I'm really glad I play multiple, this card's actually crazy. Uh, hard drawing, it's nice. It's how you, it's a lot of the times when you open like double Colossus and then they out it, it's how you shuffle them all back, make Titan, and then you just make more Colossus. Mm -hmm. And then it, you can banish it from Grave to any Thunder monster. So there's some cards on my side that it has uh, used with. Oh. And then Call by the Grave and Upstart. Broke. Always trying to play less. Is that 40 card in main? 39 with Upstart? 39. Okay. Okay. Alright. Uh, three of this card. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, two Titan. I played three online and it actually didn't come up that much. Because with fusion, you, like, you can usually, you can it's shuffle them all back. Yeah. And also, the one that discards to add, you can put all the fusions back as well. Oh, so nice. there's a lot of recurrence. Uh, here's the instant fusion target. Again, it's the main way you make the Link 2. Uh, Link Spider for a Sky Blaster. Only one of this. Uh, I played Under Clock Taker as well. It came up once per game. This probably should be a Lanforticus. If you have but your just because like generic to like Sky Blaster and all that. So I kind of missed it, we'll but it helped me go for game one, so it might be worth playing. I don't know. I need to work on the extract a lot. Phoenix and Unicorn, just generic links, obviously. And Chisbania, this came up Chelsea versus the stun Able, deck. Big fan. You can make it under Gozen. Uh, summon Sork. There's like a bunch. There's like a few combos that involve this and a TCG that like make the combos better. Uh, I think I only made it like once. It's usually how you get like Matrix out of deck and to make Titan resolve. Uh, and one Barola, one Sark. Usually, only made this once, but it was crazy. It's how I won uh, game one round eight. And this didn't come up. It was like, intentionally for the mirror. But I don't think you make rank fours a lot without Sky Blaster or Link Force. So we'll yeah, see. makes sense. Uh, Three kaijus, this should be two dark and one of the light because you can search the light off of the fusion. It's the thunder blood. Yeah, so it out it outs uh, the striker deck. Mm -hmm. Like so just having that in there. But now I play the dark one because of allure. Uh two Denko. This should be three. Uh these cards should have been the third Denko and the third evenly matched. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, because like this deck, like you can kill them, but it's but not like a extremely really consistent. Yeah. It's actually just a really good grind deck. So yeah, those should have been the third of each. Mm -hmm. uh, three twin. This game, it, like uh, my last four rounds were all striker. Oh, so what I just put, in, I just put in these eight for all of them. Yeah, and pretty free from there. You t I took out the sky blasters in those matchups because it's like going second versus Widow Anchor is just kind of rough. Yeah, and then two evenly again should have been the third. Uh, just for like ultra guys because that, that matchup's pretty rough. And then three impermanence. Got uh, just plays around midfields, all that. For sure. So, shout outs, brother. Uh, again, shout out Eli for letting me borrow the deck. Uh, epic cards and games for some cards, I'm pretty sure. Sponsors. Yeah. And <laughs> shout out to Russ and Nick for driving me. For sure, man. Congrats on that top eight and uh, checking out that broken mat right there. Thanks for the deck for file, bro. Sure.